Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So we finished the previous episode in Kalk. Uh, I think it was Kalk. Either Kalk or Fielstein? No, no, no. It, it had to be Kalk. Uh, and um, found some um, interesting contracts there. And this time I cheated a little bit because I'm tired of uh, accepting these contracts that then force me to travel week or even more across uh, the whole map. It happened to us twice already. So I checked the location uh, or target for the uh, for one of the contracts, and of course it was I think it was somewhere here. So basically as far as I expected. Uh, because of that, even though the reward was like eight thousand, I decided to not accept it and uh, uh, instead had it in this direction through Fielstein. Didn't really find anything interesting there. I just bought some more food. Uh, I wanted to check this barbarian camp along the way and actually decided to attack. We have Vatir the Everlasting there, uh, so there is a chance to get a unique weapon. I, in general, don't really like the barbarian gear too much, but with weapons, if it's rolled well, it still can be pretty decent. So we'll see what we can get from him. Then we have some Thralls, Reavers, Chosen, Drummers, Beastmasters, and Unholds. Basically the full list of uh, what, bar bar what Barbarian parties can have. What makes me nervous here are the Unholds. If it wasn't for the Unholds, I think this wouldn't be such a difficult fight with the Unholds. Just tanking a ton of damage, also throwing people around... This could be dangerous, but I think I'm willing to risk it. Um, we now have better gear, much higher levels than last time we fought Barbarians. There isn't that many chosen. That's one of the main reasons why I'm willing to try this. Uh, I decided to go in without archers, so we won't be able to reach the Beastmasters. But I think, considering the composition, I wouldn't be able to reach the Beastmasters no matter what. Also, they are quite hard to hit, usually, even if they are in range, it takes forever to kill them. Or there is one, actually, there is just one Beastmaster. I just realized, I, th I thought there were a few Beastmasters. Maybe, maybe, what if I pulled these two back? Uh, how are we gonna do this? Oh, there's one thing that I'm gonna change. I'm gonna take the Falcon and I'll give it to Taurus Moon because I always take him as he has the highest range skill. So I want to make sure that I have Falcon in every fight where I have archers with me. And we're gonna take Grimald. Also, oh, I only have one large quiver. I thought I had two. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> yeah, we need more unhold hides. We need it for the Kraken and we need we need those for the quivers. Having only the small 10 arrow quivers is kinda annoying. Uh is there anything else that we could take for this fight? Not really. And I forgot to sell the loot from last time. Oh damn it. I knew there was something that I wanted to do on the way. Okay, well, too late to change that. Let's go in. I don't know why I'm so nervous from this fight. Uh, okay, I think at this point I know why I'm so nervous. There is the champion. It looks like a unique X, I think. Because the normal X looks like this. So this should be unique. Two-handed weapon. Um, hmm...
Okay, let's just wait and see what's gonna happen. the beast boss there and he is in range. If they somehow don't block my shots and I get extremely lucky and hit everything, which is of course not gonna happen. Oh there is another how many champions are there? I mean chosen one, two three four Four and this one? That's not too bad. One, two, no, that's five. Well, what's the chance there? Thirty nine, yep. Yeah. Uh. How the hell is it possible the chance that is so low? What is this range defense? <laughs> At least these are not stuns. That's stagger. I need to hit both now. And of course, it's not gonna happen. <sighs> I mean, there is a chance that if I hit this one, it'd still be a kill. No. Actually, I don't to say that I needed to hit the body, but even if I hit the body, I still don't think there would be a kill. Okay, that's not good. So I need to soften up one. This is just a thrall. This is a chosen. So I need to take down the chosen. Try to get the kill here, but I think I'd rather prepare this guy for next turn. And now, how do I do this? I have 75% to hit the chosen, 95 to hit the thrall. So I probably should go sick. For fuck's sake, how did he survive? I wanted to just kill him and then with killing frenzy hit. All of these three, or try to hit all of this. Well, that didn't work at all, and that's even worse. It looked actually pretty good until those these two attacks that changed everything. The chosen should have been dead. Yeah, now he's gonna attack. Oh no. That's potentially so much damage. Don't you dare hitting me. Actually, that wasn't too bad. All fucked up now. Ah. 
None of these hits should have happened. Albrecht is in trouble. I think this side is okay-ish at this point. Take that. That's more or less what I was planning down here. That's Shab's second mess. Sucks that Gerald can't step back. I just needed one tile. Oh, yeah. Forget about that. Oops. Well, that's done. I think I have to do something about this guy. That hurt. It's actually, yeah, that's actually good because. That's all good. Uh, but the undead are gonna get targeted by them as well. This guy has to go down. He's doing way too much damage. How the hell did this unhold get enraged? I don't think he killed anything. Right. Let's try to hit this one again. Maybe he's gonna panic. I think if we all survive the next turn, it might actually be fine. Yeah, our archers are now in trouble. Come 
Come on, can't you just panic? Great. Nope, I was wrong, we are still in trouble. Come on, need this kill. Probably get hit here, but I need to prevent him from getting to the archer. Get the hell out of there. But 
quite sure where to go. Wonder if I'll have to kill all of them twice. How did it kick in? I still have no idea what this buff means. Or how it's called. I more or less know what it does. But... How did it proc from me killing a zombie? Unfortunately, it's gonna be one more round, which means most likely more zombies. Uh, maybe not. Okay, well, everyone's alive. I think you can consider that a success. How many injuries? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. I hope the axe is worth it. 46 tools and supplies. Zero hides, or yeah. Unhold, how are they called? Unhold hides. Not a single one. Great. Unfortunately, we don't have room for 46 tools and supplies at this point. But. It's not just the axe. 280 for 21. That's a good ratio. And it doesn't have extra damage. I think it's extra sh damage to shields. 56 is pretty impressive. Extra durability and extra armor penetration. 96. Eight. Oh, it's not extra durability. It's lower durability. Great. <clears throat> 50 to 59. So that's basically nothing. And there's 20 extra damage to shields. But that's not what you want from a two-handed axe. So it's really bad. Let's compare it. Do we have a normal... This one. 
normal 200x. Has higher damage. It's much better armor penetration. Hmm. Is it worth? Uh, not this one. This one. Is it worth losing? What is it? Five minimum, ten maximum. I don't think so. The damage that gets through armor will be more or less the same because here less damage penetrates the armor, but it's less less damage calculated from higher base. So the X, I had to have, or it, it would have to have a higher damage for this to be worth it. Okay, but the armor. It's gonna need some decent attachment. I think I'll slap the heraldic shoulder shoulder place on it. At least for now. And that will give us 320 point armor for minus 25 stamina. That's just a pretty damn good ratio. So who needs more stamina? Erhard could use some more stamina. Hmm. Honestly, I don't want to repair this thing. So, Fritz, congratulations. And it even kind of fits with the helmet. We got what? Two level ups? Two level ups. One, two. Huh. Range defense, I think. Yeah, I still want more melee skill. Seems that 100 still isn't enough. Probably try with like 110 if that helps. Because I thought that with around 100, 105 maximum, I would have 95% to hit almost anything. And it doesn't seem that way. But I have to say that during this fight, except for the first or second round where we missed those two important attacks, we. we not lucky, but we hit most of the attacks that we should have. Just the timing. If we hit those two attacks during the the second or third round, uh, then I'm pretty sure we would take significantly less damage because there would be like two or th three less barbarians on the southern south side right from the start. Well, well, it happens. This is fine. This is definitely not fine. I think Fritz is fine. This just reduces uh, movement, so I don't really mind. This should be minus 5%, so it's also not the end of the world. Guntram needs some healing. 
and actually not in such a bad shape. If I take Let's see, if I do this, then I think we are fine-ish. Just have to give the falcon to someone else. Okay, we can only like 80 tools and supplies to fix this, yeah, 19. But 52 hours isn't that bad. Maybe I'll just keep going, it's risky. Maybe one more fight we can handle. Yeah, and I think we've already managed to fix the worst. 80, 76. The front line is in decent shape. And even the reserve is fine. This is. The broken nose is probably the only injury that, that's really an issue. Okay. Let's set up a camp that's gonna speed things up. I'd like to do maybe one more fight. That looks like the fight that we want to do. Uh, priest, few under guards. Yeah, sure. Let's go. And as you can see, we are almost done with the repairs. That was quick. It's pretty far from civilization, so there should even be a decent chance that we get something shiny again. Even the injuries are gone. Wow, that was quick. So, don't need archers. Definitely want to take Guntram for this. I also kind of want to take Henrik. Okay, so you have four people going to one side, four people going to the other side, and uh, the rest will hold the center of the line as usual. Let's go. And the goal here is to take as little damage as possible, and then hopefully we get some tools and supplies. If it works, then we should be able to stick around for a little bit longer. If not, then we will have to head home. Uh, you will stay where you are, you guys have to wait, you'll stay where you are. Okay, good. He targeted the people who are gonna move. How many pikemen are we up against? Five, six, 
and the other guys they're gonna stick with the priest Let's protect Gerald a little bit. I don't want him to take a lot of damage. May even leave Albrecht here. Do some disarming. Yeah, sure. He's not doing as that much damage to skeletons with the scimitar anyway. Could just jump forward and attack, but I wouldn't get the kill. No, 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 I'll just wait for them. Wait, wait. sucks. Okay, so how does it look like? Is it worth it knocking him back? Probably not. 62.50. Nope. This is currently the best target that I have. Come on. A well, good thing is that next turn we go first. So I might be able to finish some of these kills. Wait. 73, come on. The chance to hit is quite decent. That's better. The southern flank just fell apart. Hmm. If I hit the, the body, I'd probably do quite a lot of damage even with the whip. But since I didn't hit, I'll just disarm him. Please hit this guy. <gasps> I 
think this side should be safe now, even for new recruits. That one hurt. Ah, sure, let's move forward. I need to get to the priest as quickly as possible. Wait. Once again, I'm hard stuck behind these, behind these legionnaires. Wait. That's fine. I just want these two pikemen. Uh, this one is okay. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I hope this one doesn't hit. That's all these attacks blocked. Well, now we have a problem and... Oh, God damn it! It went so well. How the hell do I get Hada Brown out of here? Wait. That's better. Okay, nice. Uh, but I actually need to move Guntram away. This attack might have just killed Hedda Brown. Good. 
needed like five people to help, but Hellbrand made it. Hmm. Fortunately, I won't be able to disarm this guy. Maybe next turn. Oh yeah, that was a misclick. Hmm. Once again, it started quite well, but then we got stuck behind those the, behind the the front line for a bit too long. It was like two more turns, and they should have survived. And uh, the pikemen did they their job, but. It's okay. That's... Is that a unique handgun? First of all, we got like 5,000 gold worth of... Uh, uh, valuables. Our valuables worth like 5,000 gold. And this is... Fire Breather of Splendor. An expertly cast iron barrel with a long wooden handle. It fires shrapnel in a cone and can in multiple target with one shot cannot be used while engaged in melee. The durability is changed, some extra armor penetration. And probably it's lighter, so it's garbage. The shield 
27 melee defense is great. 32 durability is very low. And we didn't get any tools and supplies, so we have to head back now. Where's the shield here? I'm gonna use it for now, because that 27 melee defense is pretty impressive, actually. And switch back to this shield once the other one is broken. It won't take long, but for maybe a fight or two, it will last. Once again, pretty bad roll. Okay, how far are we from civilization? We'll be heading in, uh, heading to Gerborg. I'm not that far, that's like a day, day and a half travel. We actually might be able to do one more fight along the way. Nothing too crazy, but maybe some undead should be doable. And then we'll probably go back again. Just fighting in this distant corners of the map seems to be pretty profitable. Okay, but we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.